what up what up y'all it's coco welcome back to the channel today on the bench i have the casio casio tone mt100 man this thing is nice i scored this off of macari a guy had it listed uh, for a pretty good price i ended up talking to him we were able to work out a deal which worked for me and it worked for him uh, basically what he said was he was not able to test it because he could not get it to power on um, it would not power up via batteries and this particular unit instead of using the 9 volt which most casios typically use this version came out with the 7.5 volt so unless you have a universal adapter or you have that pacific adapt adapter it's going to be hard for you to try to test these units so he didn't have the power adapter to test that but i've already tested that off camera and it does power up via power supply now, um, I have batteries in it, but even when I go to press that, we get absolutely nothing. So that's definitely an issue. We got to figure out what's going on with that. Um, off camera, I turned this on. I don't want to turn it on again, but it was making horrible noises. Um, it might even have some liquid damage or something, or there's just some gunk because the keys don't really work. Um, a lot of the faders are scratchy. As soon as you turn it on, it's like shh. shh. So this, this, this is one of those units where it's really going to have to be fully serviced and broken down and cleaned up. That's one reason why I like getting this stuff because not only am I able to save it, but it's also a challenge for me. Can I really fix this? Can I get in there and figure it out? So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and take a look inside. So here's the back of this unit. It does have the battery cover, which is nice. I did see a little bit of signs of corrosion in there, which is probably why it's not working by batteries. Also with this particular unit, you're going to have 13 screws on the back. You're going to have to take out, make sure you have a way to organize your screws. I like to use this little plastic compartment. I'm going to put my battery screws there. I've got my back house and screws. And then once I start getting into the inside and taking screws out, I'll label that accordingly. Um, this unit does have two screws in the battery compartment. And I also suggest if you're going to be reselling this kind of stuff or planning on getting into repairing this kind of stuff to go ahead and buy you a six pack or eight pack or at least have a minimum of six d batteries because a lot of these older casio units run off d batteries so having at least six of those because most of them will take either five or six depending on how big the unit is have those on hand so that way you can make sure you fully tested power from both power supply and battery so let's go ahead and get this unit open and see what's going on inside Alrighty guys, so I have it open and just right off the bat, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but over in that corner, it's a lot of sticky residue. So that lets me know liquid was definitely spilled in here. There's sign of rust, which again, lets me know there was liquid in here. There's some corrosion there. And that explains right there why it's not powering up via batteries because it ain't on there no more. I mean, it just corroded completely off. So I'm gonna have to clean that terminal up probably just go ahead and put a new brand new wire in there too and look at that that looks horrible so got to clean all that gunk up um, coming over here on this main board i mean look at all of that it's it's an eight at the chips hopefully that chip is still good i'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning on this board um have to get down in there and see what's going on in there so this is one of those videos where i'm gonna more than likely have parts because it'll be, this is not something, oops, that just fell over. This is not something that I'm going to do in all one setting, no way. So I'll just, you know, kind of work in steps. The first step was just opening it up to examine to see exactly what all I have to do. And I'm also going to see if I can track down a schematic for this, some type of service manual. And if I do, I will upload it to the website at cocodegeek.com forward slash downloads. That's where I upload all the service manuals, manuals or any type of things that I get while doing these repairs that I think may be beneficial to you guys. I mean, look at all that gunk and everything in there. It is horrible. So this is part one. I'll be back with part two, give you guys updates as I continue working on this. So I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you like this kind of content, make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.